Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. I told everybody on the show that uh, before we end right at 7 o'clock, if there's a song that they would like to play all over a little piece of, uh, something important or meaningful to them, that we would give them an opportunity to go ahead and roll a little piece of that song or maybe the whole song. Mm-hmm. Who would like to start here? Mm. Jimmy, do you uh, want to start? Well, this or do is you have song. Uh, pieces? I'm, this is Blair. Blair wanted this, and this is a song, and it's the instrumental to it. But it seems like um, Led Zeppelin was the best sound for Blair. When Led, she would Zeppelin? Go, Led Zeppelin? When she would go someplace and she would have a problem with people. You'd oh, there would be chaos, you're yeah, saying? Be like, ah, Here, uh-oh. What do you mean? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> wow. 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 When you do this sort of thing, it's called flushing the format, Mm -hmm. where you get to sort of just play any song you want to. And every radio personality wants on their final day to play Highway to Hell by ACDC or something like that. You know, that's not in the format. And, you know, everybody goes, what are they going to do, fire me? Right. So, uh, Jimmy, did you pick one for yourself? I I have it. Do you want to go to Erica? Okay, sure. Oh, I like that. I would. Let's go. In that vein, we could go Sympathy for the Devil. Oh, nice. I, I have to get that. Oh, you want me to get it? Oh, no, don't, don't get it. Well, you don't can if you can. Don't. Don't. How do you and if you can. You only got nine minutes. How do you spell you sympathy? S- 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 he you know what? That was For God's it. sake. That was worth it. That's good. No, no, no. No, no. We, we have a, a music library of about 20,000 songs, yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. I don't, you know. Hopefully this will be... Did you find it? I have to take the survey on YouTube. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, okay. oh, Here we go. That is real. <laughs> and that's our show. You, you know, right now, somewhere in Atlanta behind a giant hardwood desk, Mary Burner just said, we made the right decision to sell it. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> what are you playing? Oh, there it is. You, do you, you know how long the song is, don't you? I have yeah, no idea. Just, just play chorus. clip. Yeah, you just... Chorus. I'm trying to remember this yeah. version as yeah. anything that could... Yeah, well, uh, does it matter? Right. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, it kind of does still matter. You know, it's funny, Jack. Now, and we should say, the radio station's going away, not because ratings ra- ratings are great. The station's making tons of cash. But... <laughs> That's true. But a Christian broadcasting group had a... Uh, I almost said a, a ton, a very big ton of cash, and they bought a several of uh, Cumulus broadcasting right, right. stations mm-hmm. and hundred over hundred million dollars, hundred and six million, I think it's up to now. The uh, mm-hmm. deal, and, just and so it, you know, yeah. as Jimmy said, you know, and I'm not going to read the ratings. Jay. I'm just going to let you know that you guys made us the number one contemporary music morning show in Washington D.C. again this week. Last week, uh, thank you. I mean, I can't tell you how much we appreciate Woo! it, um, and I'm not going to because. Everybody else at the, uh, the stations behind us, and uh, there are some great stations in front of us. You know, like well, you can guess TOP and uh, AMU, and uh, a couple of the great urban stations like HUR mm. and uh, MMJ. And then there's the Jack Diamond Morning Show right mm. after that. Morning shows. So um, I'm going to play a song for you, Jimmy. If you, unless you have no, one, you go, go, go. And um, this is a song that I have played. Now I haven't played this in 30 years. Because I haven't, uh, other than leaving the station for a year, and I went to Chicago, uh, very fortunately, to work at WLS-FM, which is a great radio station in our company, and had a wonderful year in Chicago. Missed Washington, and uh, grateful that they uh, saw the light to bring us back. But this song touched me. When, when I started this hour, and I said, when I was a kid, and I would lie awake in bed at night, and there would be songs on the radio that would touch me or reach me, and the, and the personalities who played them, the songs, I don't know, they sounded great coming from a 1,000 or 2,000 miles away. Yeah. And whether it was WABC or WLSAM or CKLW, they just, uh, they touched me. And I wanted to do this for a living, and it's really how I got into the business. I could have picked something like uh, Midnight Confessions by the Grassroots or I'd Wait a Million Years. Those are a couple of songs that just mm-hmm. sounded so great on those radio stations. But... You know, when you think about the the moments of your life and the people in your life, I hope that you understand what the word cherish means, that you cherish those people and those moments. Uh, Because, you know, in all of our lives, we've uh, suffered 
the death of somebody that we love. Uh, we have been uh, exalted and exhilarated by the birth of a new family member. And, you know, there, there's that poem, What's in Your Dash, between your birth date and the date you pass. And I think the more days you spend cherishing your life and the people in your life, the better off you are. So here's my little pick to play for you. And uh, I have played this my last day literally on every radio station since I was 16 years old. Mm-hmm. And I think it's a beautiful piece of music. Uh, it is by a group called The Association, and it's called Cherish. And I want you to know that I do, in fact, cherish you and appreciate you listening every single day for the past 30 years to the Jack Diamond Morning Show and all the great personalities on Mix 107.3. It means uh, the world to us, and we have enjoyed uh, occupying 4400 Jennifer Street and 107.3 in Washington, D.C., more than I'll ever be able to to share with you. Um, My kids were born here. My kids were raised here. Yours were... I mean, we've lived a life here with you, so uh, we thank you so very much. I just want to remind you again of the... uh, (laughs) Please! We knew her, and the hashtag is Hire the JDMS. Uh, Thanks again to... uh, Oh, it's not time to take the wheel, Jesus. Sorry. No, no, no. no, 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 no. We still have eight seconds. Just enough time for me to say this (laughs) is WRQX Washington, a proud Cumulus radio station. Jack Diamond is forever the first... Okay, uh, this is K-Love. Uh, we're going to be honest with you. We're a little bit nervous, both of us. <laughs> it's Jeff and it's Randy. <laughs> but we're all so excited here at K-Love because it's like a big welcome party for even more friends across the country. We get to welcome more cities. Because of your support of K-Love through the years, K-Love has been able to expand even more. And so that's why we're so excited. And Ooh, nervous. It, 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 Let's keep bit, it real. Teensy bit. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks to your support, uh, just minutes ago, like moments ago, the switch was flipped, and now all this good that comes from K-Love is on in New York City at 95.5, 107.3 in Baltimore and D.C. Yeah. Um, I should be doing this in my DJ voice. You really should be. I don't, you don't waste that voice. 106.7 Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta. Uh, 97.7 in San Jose, 102.1 Savannah, and 105.9 in Syracuse. Let me try that. 104. No, see, no. I can't go now. <laughs> Yours works. Mine but, does not. <laughs> but but it, if you were listening to another station minutes ago, uh, we just want to say welcome and and give it a try here at K-Love. What we are is positive and encouraging and sometimes a little goofy. Yeah, I was going to say, how do you describe <laughs> us? Because we can, sometimes we feel like we work at a different radio station. <laughs> But really, there's a lot of negative out there. There really is. You know yes. that. Especially uh, in this world, man, it hurts sometimes. And who doesn't need a place to go where they're constantly reminded about how much they are loved and how everything is going to be okay and you're never alone. I mean, that's why we love K-Love. So, welcome. It's positive, encouraging K-Love. We're Jeff and Randy. And here we go. It's Jeff and Randy. We'd love to hear your K-Love moment. It just seemed like every time something happened or we were going through something and we turned on Caleb, that song that was playing was like speaking to us. It, it was just what we needed at that moment. Share your Caleb moment with us by calling 800 877 5600.